Final piece. I really probably should open actually before we go anywhere to make sure it's actually the right thing. Well, it looks right. I'll leave it in there for now. And it did come with a USB, so we can assume that this is the heated blanket. Hopefully that thing doesn't let us down. All right, actually, might I lie to you guys? I think I have one more thing I want to stop real quick and grab. <sighs> Dude, I fucking missed you guys, man. This is not like the videos you guys are used to seeing from me. And I, I'm fucking stoked about it, dude. I'm actually so excited. Also, can we just take a second and appreciate that you guys are used to seeing me from like this focal length, max zoomed out. Well, your boy went out and bought a lens while I was gone and dude, check this out, this is fucking hype. Oh my God, like I can get right up, that's two fingers away from my nose. I look hella dumb. This lens is absolutely fire. I'm super happy just to be back filming. So, uh, one stop and then we're on to the road. This is gonna be the most bunk setup. You guys know, ever since I got the Jeep, I've been telling you, I don't wanna make it like a, make it into like a full overland build. I would rather do like a trailer or something like that. I really like the fact that I can use my Jeep as a Jeep or like just any vehicle as any vehicle, um, but especially a Jeep. If you build out something like a truck, then it's all in the bed and it's all out of your way, but me and Courtney also have Frankie, so like instantly it's just ruined. And we bought a trailer at the end of last year's point is, you know that I'm not trying to make this thing a full overland build, but what I do want to do is dial in the setup for like the one nighter or two nighter, like just solo car camping mission setup. Alright, well you can't say I didn't try because I just came and walked this before I drove in it and like under the feet it barely even barely even sink. So here I am thinking, hey, I can get over there. What's really working against me here is the temperature. When it's so warm like this, it just becomes packing snow, and packing snow, like the second you drive on it or do anything, it literally just like Great Wall of China's you right right in front of your tire can't get past it so we're just not having any luck because like literally not even that deep. I've drove through deeper but today it just it doesn't like it that's the one thing I actually didn't consider when I bought a manual Jeep is it getting it stuck it's not good I just hate burning clutches so I just cringe to get it out This will do. Maybe it won't. Honestly, I think I'm putting too much time into where I'm staying because tonight's not even about where we're staying, just the middle of fucking winter. It's not a bad spot though. It's like right off the side of the road. I think it's like a little pull off in the summer if you want to go like exploring in the trails, but there's literally one house on this entire road. So I can't see there being too much traffic or any weird sh going on here tonight. And I already drove through it earlier when I was out here filming with the drone. I literally tore through this. So I knew I could make it. That'll do for me. First up, let's just assemble this in order. This is not the first time I've slept in a Jeep. This is the first time I've slept in my Jeep. Last time I slept in a Jeep, me and Brad blew up a, I think it was a twin airbed, and it basically perfectly filled this little square. So if it doesn't, then I'm an idiot, but I'm pretty sure that this should do exactly what we need. Fits like an absolute glove. 
quite literally actually just a kiss too big. I opted for an air mattress just because the Jeep has these uh, like really aggressive bars underneath here and even like a foamy or any kind of like memory foam situation. It just, this just penetrates right through and you feel it in your spine. So from this boy is the main goods. So this is the man, <laughs> man to hole heated sleeping bag. It says it has five different heating pads in there. And then uh, it says it needs something that supplies a five volt, two amp charge. And it does not include the power bank, which I didn't realize when I bought it, but we're gonna make it work anyways. Dude, not bad. It feels, actually feels all right. You can tell it's got like the cold weather design with a little hood boy on it. This was a hundred bucks. I'm gonna let you decide if that's expensive or cheap. To me, that seems like medium. A really good cold weather rated sleeping bag is gonna probably be that or more. I found this thing on Amazon for a hundred bucks and it's heated. So I'll leave a link down below in case you guys wanna check it out. But I don't know, I feel like it's a, a medium price for probably a medium product. I don't know if you guys can see through the fabric, but there's like some little coils here. I think it says there's two here, one in the middle and one at the feet or something like that. So it looks, it actually looks all right. This is something that I've wanted. I actually had a cold weather sleeping bag a long, long time ago and I 100% lost it. Like I don't even know how you lose a sleeping bag. Apparently I did. And uh, ever since then I've been wanting to get one. I've been wanting to try one that's heated because I feel like there's nothing worse than being cold when you're sleeping. And if this dude can actually keep us warm, it'll open up so many any possibilities for like saying yes to going to blank camping spot because I know I can keep myself warm. So we're gonna give this guy a little trial run. Before we do anything, make sure it actually works. A little USB thing here. I think this is a button. Sounds like a button. So we don't have to have our power bank inside of our freaking head while we're sleeping. This boy goes Boom, and for juice, I actually brought this thing, which is a uh, car jump starter because it's got, it runs five volts, two amps, and it is huge compared to like any other power bank I have. This thing can jump start a car like 20 something times before it dies, so I feel like it's gotta be able to keep us warm through the night. At least you would hope. USB out, plug this in, and then what, this guy? Ooh. Okay, we got red, blue, green. I assume red is the most most heat so let's just cover this back up you do your thing for a minute you know what we should actually where is those heating coils we should make sure this isn't on them so that we don't feel it getting warm dude no way that's actually already getting warm what the f yo no joke you can actually feel it already it's been plugged in like 10 seconds where's the other one they actually work like almost immediately not hot it's not hot this you would still die in this but you can feel it warming that is sick and that is all i needed just an instant yes, this thing works, and we're gonna save our juice for tonight so we do not die because it is starting to get freaking cold out here, dude. I'm satisfied, at least it turns on. We know it works. Backup plan, because you always gotta have a backup plan. The Jeep's got a full tank of gas, so we do the old turn it on, run it for a little bit, warm us up. If you guys know anything about cars in general, they're not good at holding heat. Jeeps especially, got a lot of seams and seals and fiberglass roof. This thing is notorious for not staying warm at all. Like this thing holds no heat. So running the car is not ideal because the heat's just gonna leave real quick. Aside from that though, I don't think I'll blow this up next time right away. I think this is something you leave till right before you go to bed just cause now it's awkward and taking up the whole freaking back of the Jeep, which kind of sucks, but whatever I learned next time I won't do this right away and like I told you guys I did I do have a roof rack coming so I'm gonna try and store more stuff up on the roof rack just so I don't have to deal with it being inside the Jeep for now it's got to be inside the Jeep dude these trees are raining on me ah oh, it's in my back I parked directly under all these branches and I'm just getting rained on my cooler <laughs> check this out dude, it's not even cool and anything this is extra clothes I use this because it's just like a nice hard storage mainly I had a water jug but when I took it out today it was broken so I filled up some water bottles for water Got some snacks, some food, cooking utensils, fire starter. I was hoping I would fire, but I don't think this is a good spot because there is a road there and all it takes is one dickhead to come by here and not like the fire and I'm fine. I've also talked about it since literally the day I brought the Jeep home. Uh, I really want to get a tailgate. So right now it would be perfect to have a table. I could have brought one. I didn't think of it. Cooler looks like the new table. Check it out, dude. For dinner, a super gourmet 
breakfast. I'm actually kind of an idiot. I didn't expect the sleeping bag to show up today. I was expecting it to show up tomorrow, so I wasn't like fully prepped and I got super stoked and just left when it came. I pulled a frozen chicken breast out of the freezer and then I forgot to take it out of the cooler. So that shit was like rock hard. Thankfully, I had a backup though. I'm also super thankful that this thing has a light because uh, I'm not as new to this as I look, but I've never filmed, like I said, me camping, so. I definitely didn't consider lighting in the Jeep. I also forgot ketchup, so it's meh. On one hand, I almost feel embarrassed at how bad of a job I'm doing. But on the other hand, this is exactly like what I needed to motivate me. I want a tailgate table that I probably never would get one. It's like one of those weird random things. But literally just doing this one time sucked doing it over there on the cooler. So tailgate table definitely just worked its way up the list. A winch, I already have it, but I already got stuck today. So that's not ideal. And I've said that the whole point of the Jeep isn't to be an overland rig, but some like organization will be just delightful. If you don't go, you don't know. So go do something you want to do and you'll figure it out as you go, even though it kind of sucked. Dude, this lighting sucks door then the boot where's the boot go it's actually not bad you can sit up on the mattress in the back for all my like main audience that's probably watching this thinking like what the f kind of mental breakdown did this guy go through listen i just really really want to start to travel more and adventure more and just do stuff and the only way to do that is to start and i'm a big believer you guys know and just sending it staying committed making it through the whatever today for example make it through the night and then figuring out the rest later it's something that i've really dreamed of and talked to you guys about even before is building a van and living out of it i think that would be so cool i've been talking about doing this for like two plus years over this last month i've taken some time off just trying to figure out what i want to do and whatever as much as i want to get a rooftop tent and just build this thing into like a nice overland build i have a dream where i build a trailer that i can tow with this instead of a van for example me and courtney and frankie will go out and do stuff right and i want to be able to like leave them at the trailer and go to starbucks and upload my video and not everybody has to do everything all the time so if we have a sick camping spot right like it just makes it a little bit cooler than oh we gotta go everybody's gotta get in everybody's gotta go especially for the dog she's super high energy and i think that uh having something where she has to be in the car more than not would be less ideal. So if we could find a way that she doesn't have to be in the car as often, obviously that would be the most ideal situation. And I know this looks bunk as fuck, is what I'm trying to say. Try to enjoy my life and document it. Instead of trying to create videos that are sick creations, I'm gonna try and travel and see the things I wanna see and do the things I wanna do and also document it and share it with you. That's all. Kinda wish that these windows were tinted a little darker or that I had some sort of visor. You couldn't see through if you just walked up, I don't think. But if someone's creeping on me, they're creeping on me. I was scared of the shit myself. I was trying to unlock the Jeep so the lights would come on so you guys could see me. I found a headlamp. I actually don't like it though. I don't know if you guys can tell how bright it is out here, but if you turn off the headlamp, nah, you guys can't see. When I turn the headlamp off, I can actually see better because it's like hella, hella moony out tonight. And I was fucking getting tired too. I set the alarm off and I shit my pants. This headlamp is as gangster as they come because you can kind of just do one of these and turn them down a notch actually. Oh. There. I was doing some editing in here, but it just got like way too cold. I didn't even consider the fact that my computer would like freeze. I'm gonna put them on good old hot, hot mode just to try and get it toasty because it, one, got so cold when I went outside to brush my teeth. The Jeep wasn't actually doing a terrible job of holding heat, even though I sh on it before. And I did grab my emergency comforter which is disgusting that it's also green the bag so far has been all right it's like what you would expect from a sleeping bag like i've been in it honestly i haven't got cold except the parts of my body that were out of the bag my toes have been cold since i made dinner though i would love if they could warm up right about now that would be just awesome the heating guys are underneath oh yeah they are it hasn't gone through my clothes yet, but I can feel it on my hands. Oh, dude. It says right now outside feels like minus one, which I believe. And I think we picked just a wicked day to do this, dude. It's 100% not snowing yet. But look at the lows for this week, like minus 20s, minus 24, minus 26. Whatever, snow maybe will be actually insulating for us. Could be nice. I guess, uh, wish me luck. Whoa, dude, this is sick. What the hell? Yo, does the camera see this? No way. It's like a full moon out right now. Not full maybe, but like it's, it's, it's big. I can see out the windows. It's almost less scary than not being able to see. Like I wonder if I open the door, if you guys can grasp how bright it is out here. That's what I see through all my windows. It's kind of fire, not gonna lie.
morning. Looks like it actually just started snowing this morning. I don't know, dude, I am so cold. So this thing is like less of a heated blanket and more of like a, and you know, the temperature of a couple farts underneath the blanket. See, I did end up using this one. Uh, it actually, at about two in the morning, I woke up because I was really cold. I don't know if this will show us now. Yeah, this is, says 25%, but I, I don't know if it got cold or if it died, I'm pretty sure it just died. I woke up at like 2.30 and honestly until 2.30, I was, I was warm. I was thinking in my head, like this thing's not really doing much. But then once it shut off, I froze, dude. So from 10 to two, it was on high and it absolutely destroyed this battery in four hours. It says this is a 56 WH, is that what? I don't know, dude, it killed the whole thing in four hours and that's a good size battery. It recommends you buy like one of them little portable battery things that would have lasted me like an hour. Anyways, after that shut off, I froze to death. It was a medium, medium experience at best. I guess that means that it actually does work um, because although it doesn't feel like it's doing much, it is heating you. I definitely wouldn't want to be in it in anything super cold because right now, right now the Jeep still says it's only zero outside. I don't know what it feels like, but last night zero and this morning zero are two very different zeros. Oh, we need to get some heat going in this thing. Also, I was able to uh, take this and let a little bit of air out last night and just push it down and it kind of conformed to there, which was super nice because I don't know if you guys noticed, but at first it was like on a slant and it kind of sucked. So I'm thankful I was able to get that out of the slant. No. But dude, this honestly was a really good spot. Like three people total drove by last night. I was expecting animals and stuff because I've seen animals right here in the forest, like in it, but nothing that I noticed happened. It was a quiet, nice little spot. Another thing I'm learning is that the cold kills my batteries way faster than normal. So I guess even in the winter, I'm used to filming in like a heated garage or somewhere warm. This camera battery was like full last night. I barely used this camera and it's already dying. I went through two camera batteries yesterday. I guess that's just a rookie mistake, but you live and you learn, dude. Honestly, it wasn't a bad experience. Like I'm awake and I feel great. I wish I could stick around here and make some coffee, but sitting inside the Jeep just sounds so warm. Oh, yes, please. Less of a camping adventure actually, and more of just a challenge myself to see if that sleeping bag was any good and also just to you know have a little solo mission so I gotta get maybe something that can cook water a little better cook water like a stove like a little burner because right now I have like a barbecue because my trailer has a burner and uh, the little barbecue is really no bueno for heating water because it just takes so long anyways that's it this video was extremely different kind of random let me know what you guys think I would like to actually get into doing more camping stuff this was just like I said a really spur of the moment I wanted to test out that sleeping bag but I'd love to actually go on some more adventures and find some cool spots and do some shit. so let me know if you guys have any thoughts and I'll catch you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching peace out and stay committed We gotta figure out how I can have this coffee in warm air whilst camping. Isn't that right, Franks? Yeah? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>